Have you heard of Libyan Desert Glass? This is a Tektite, and it's supposed to be like Moldavite's gentler cousin. Let's talk about it. Libyan Desert Glass is an impact glass, meaning the belief is that there was a meteor impact in the Western Desert in Egypt that caused this. So there's an impact mixing with the sand in between causes the desert glass. And there's some research that shows there was an impact in the area where the desert glass is found, but it's still a little disputed by different scientists on whether that is the exact occurrence of it. You'll also see that because it is found in the desert, there's gonna have a lot of sand etching on it. Some other things you will notice because it is a glass, it will have little teeny bubbles in it, just like Moldavite. When I'm inspecting it, I also look for kind of this um, pitting in there, maybe some sand inclusions, really, really light. Like I'll put it under a jeweler's loop and have a look at it to see if I can see any residual sand or dirt or any kind of material, organic material in there. On the exterior, of course, not inside the glass. And in the glass, I'm gonna be looking for little teeny bubbles to try to verify that it is authentic. Most of the time, Libyan desert glass is authentic. These are some really key characteristics here too. You'll see that they're all different shapes. There isn't shape symmetry. They all kind of look like they're forming in different patterns. All of these ones checked out with bubbles and also had exterior organic material on them when I used the jeweler's loop to inspect them. Now, if you work with crystals from an energetic perspective, Libyan desert glass is supposed to be a little more gentler than Moldavite. It's not as rare as Moldavite, but it's still pretty pricey. It's a little bit more common, but it's still a more rare find on the market. We don't come across it all the time. I occasionally come across it once, maybe twice a year, and then I'll invest in a little bit and see if my customers are interested in it. I really like it. It has this gorgeous kind of honey color to it. It's just a lovely color and it's a really unique piece. And I always love the idea of tectites or these minerals that are made through perhaps a meteorite impact.